going to live here, God. Amen. 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 I thank God for the prayer tonight. Amen. God, truly, it's a blessing to be in the presence of God. Amen. Amen. When mankind truly realize the opportunity to be in prayer in the presence of God, Amen. talking to Him. Amen. Hallelujah. It's a wonderful thing to be. And especially when you come together in unity in prayer. Amen. And I thank God that the home and third we hit back in the house of God. Amen. With God's people. Amen. Because we need it. We thank God for listening and making the mess. Amen. 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 It's a wonderful thing to be found. I just feel good tonight. Seeking God. I thank God for Him having me in the position that I am. I'm seeking Him for me. Amen. Amen. For Amen. me. Amen. 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 I ain't seeking for y'all. I'm seeking for me. Amen. Amen. And I thank God for me seeking Him for me. Amen. Amen. I said, Lord, I'm talking to you about me tonight. Amen. I'm seeking you about me. Amen. I'm I think about everybody else, but I never think about myself. Amen. But tonight, I told God, I said, I'm seeking for me. Amen. What I need. You know what I need. Amen. I thank you for what you know what I need. Amen. I just feel good in the Holy Ghost. Amen. 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 Liz, are you doing that? Yeah. Amen. Amen. You need to come a while for that. Like a busy bee, just steady beezing around. What you look? Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. I thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> thank you, Jesus. 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 Thank Amen. Now we're going to get ready for Bible study. Amen. 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 I thank God for what he's doing for serving. He put me in a position now in the spirit realm that he's grooming me. Amen. Show me some things that I need to see what I don't need to see. Love what I need to love, let go when I need to let go. Amen. And I thank God for that tonight. Amen. I praise Him tonight. Glory. And keep the children up. Now, that is really in the place that kids are being destroyed, and then kids are turning around, uh, only destroy, uh, people destroying the kids, the kids destroying children. Amen. 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 A 12 year old child should be one to kill them. Uh -huh. Amen. Amen. You can tell. That's why I'm saying this that the saints of God, people that are praying, we got to get serious with this thing. Because I was thinking, walking around, I said, Lord, you know, I, my mind went back when Pharaoh mm -hmm. and all of them charged on to take our keys. Right. Mm -hmm. And then turn around when Jesus' generation came, they want to take him out. Mm -hmm. And now it's done coming back around again. And mm -hmm. we need to really pray for our kids. Because the enemy is out to destroy this generation, like preaching them, they are the end time generation, amen. And they gonna be the one gonna be the army that's raising up, amen. 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 And we need to pray for them, amen, because the world is trying to get them before they can get in the house of God, amen. 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 It's too much out here, amen. I was just just looking at, I said, God, our young children, and they, I was listening to the thing to talk about. It's wrong to tap the kids. You know, all this. I, if you, you don't give no discipline or no kind of way. The Bible said you don't love them if you don't speak this stuff. Yeah. God, I said, Lord, they come against every word you say about, Amen. about Amen. what need to raise your children. Amen. 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 And so let us keep everything up in prayer because, hallelujah, I, I don't want kids to be the 
destroyed. Amen. Amen. I thank God I just found out I got another great grandbaby. Amen. 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 Right. Woo, woo, woo. And I counted, I said <laughs> nine. I think now I, I, he got five now. Jane just found out he got a little girl. Out of all them years, he done claimed so many children. He finally got him one. <laughs> So Jane gonna come up with one. Now he got five, and Louis got three. That's eight, and Trish got three. No, Louis got two. That's seven, eight, nine. Man got one. I got ten grandkids now. Great grand. Amen. Amen. So I'm looking forward to seeing the new great grandbaby and my daughter-in-law. Amen. I'm grand back in all new Christmas. Amen. Looking forward to it, amen. Got amen. something to look forward for. Amen. And tonight, when we I was talking about praying for the kid tonight, I want to talk about witness. We need the win. We need witnesses. Mm -hmm. We need it. And the Lord gave me a way to do it this night. It's gonna be kind of surprising how He gave it to me. Then he said, he called them witnesses. Mm -hmm. We need witnesses, yeah. and he called them witnesses. And there's something about how he gave it to me to show us in the condition that you can witness. Everybody can witness. Amen. <laughs> and we're going to look at the condition that we got to be in for we can witness. Uh -huh. And I'm going to start, we're going to start at Hebrew 12, verse 1. Is that word? And I never looked at it like that. How Jesus talk about witnesses? That verse. Wherefore, see we also are compassed about with so great a crowd, cloud of witnesses. I read that. Mm -hmm. Wherefore, see we also are compelled about. In Hebrew 11, we're going to show, I'm going to show you these witnesses. They are the first one compelled to show how Jesus Christ he com they compelling it. And today we supposed to be the one compelling it, just like and they did. Mm -hmm. To show the greater witness of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is the greatest witness, amen, of his life. Mm -hmm. And today I'm going to show you that the condition we got to meet so we can be those witnesses. Just mm -hmm. like they were. Those people were witness to the point they died. Mm -hmm. Amen. But tonight, I'm going to show you, we need the witness. We need witnesses. <laughs> Your life is a witness. witness. So he needs you to be a witness. Amen. Sometimes it ain't what you say out of your mouth, it's how you live. That's, right. That's the pure witness. Your life, he said, let your light shine that man may see. Amen. And tonight, we're going to see what he's saying about us being witnesses. <laughs> Amen. And I like it that. See how he went on with that. I, I, I got it pinched off a little bit. I, I'm, we're going to go on a little further last week. Okay, we talk about witness. And look what he's telling us to do. Let us lay aside every weight. So I need to lay aside all my issues. issues. Weights are issues. Amen. Lay aside every weight that calls me. Not to run this, be a good witness. Amen. My lifestyle could be a weight. Amen. Anything could be a weight. Amen. He said, lay aside every weight. And the sin which doeth so easily beset us. So we need to lay aside that what easily beset us, so we need to check our lifestyle. Yes, what, what make you lay aside every weight? Do anger? Mm -hmm. Frustration? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Different things could frustrate you that you call you not to be a good witness. Mm -hmm. So he's saying, 
really said check yourself. Mm -hmm. So you start laying aside every weight. What is your weight? Mm -hmm. Can somebody name one there? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, wait, sir. Anger. Anger. Okay, that's a weight. Okay. Certain people. So that's a weight. Okay, frustration. Weight. Okay. She got her hand up. Come on. Yeah. Come on. Crystal. Crystal. What's your weight? It could be anything. You can talk too much. Amen. That's a weight. So we need to lay aside the weights. Yeah. And what? Emotion, Weight. Mm -hmm. You become bitter when you're hurt. Right. Yeah. Instead yeah. of letting God heal the hurt, you become bitter. So that's a way. You see so many bitter saints sitting up in the church. That's right. Hurting folks. Because <laughs> they what? Bitter. So it's a way. And the sin which do it so easily beset us. And let us run with patience the race that is set before us. Okay, I like this, but he said, lay aside every way and the sin which does so easy. So it's easy. You, you, you carry that way so long to the point it's so easy to trigger off. That's true. It's come easy. You get a habit or something. You all imagine start cussing. Right. Oh. <laughs> right that's true. That's true. I, I mean, true. that's a weight. So mm -hmm. you need, you you need, see, lay you can't aside. lay aside because you can't be a witness. Because mm -hmm. if I'm cussing, then the world cussing. Yeah, Lord, thank you. <laughs> you can't be a witness. You can't be a witness. Right. So we need witnesses. Amen. It's a good lesson at night, ain't it? Yeah. Beset us and let, what he said, let us what? And let us run with patience the race that is set before us. So I need to lie what? Patient mm -hmm. to do his work. Mm -hmm. Let patient have a perfect, perfect work. And let us run with patience the race that is, is set. So being a witness, he got a set time for you to think. That is set before us. A lot of times things happen to us, things we go through is to bring that what? The, the weight out of us so he can use and we can be a good witness. I ain't just don't have because it just have nothing. Yes. It's coming, something coming at you. Amen. And it's showing something that you don't press. Amen. That's true. Some people have a hold on, you still have some stuff in them. Amen. Amen. And you still being what? Oppress. You oppress it. Amen. Now, sometimes when I have, you know, things that I deal with that bother me a lot. It's hard for me to understand what I'm supposed to do. Am I just supposed to ignore it? Or how do I? When you find something like that and it bothers you, mm -hmm. you need to release it to God. Release it. Tell him about it. Mm -hmm. When you release it to him, then you line him to have, begin lend patience because he's a God of what? Patience. So he'll begin to work in that area that caused that the bother you where you can overcome, come the opposite of thing that caused you not to be as free. Mm -hmm. Not to affect you like it mm -hmm. usually do. Mm -hmm. And see what has happened is we don't let go of nothing. Mm -hmm. We we attain, mm -hmm. we hold it here. Mm -hmm. If it get here, then it Yes. Thank you, Jesus. And you woke up in the morning and, and first thing something come 
Something of the world come to your mind, something that you ain't thinking about, just all of a sudden, just bam, hit yeah. your hand. That's why he said, cast out every imagination that exalt itself above the Lord. Mm -hmm. See, that, that, those are the weights. It's trying to, the enemy is trying to get them on you before you can get them off of you. Mm -hmm. If I can hear it, I, I'm going to use you as example. Thank you. That little cuss. <laughs> <laughs> she say, ouch. Ouch. Just before you got ready to come out of the house, I was talking to Brian. I said, oh, Papa. Uh -huh. See? Mm -hmm. And it already had gripped you. Mm -hmm. When you got to the car, see, weights are grip you. Yes, yes. And we got to learn what the knowledge stuff to grip us. Mm -hmm. That's why he said, cast out every imagination all the time above the Lord. Mm -hmm. So you so so we can be this witness. Witness. Mm -hmm. We need witnesses. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. Okay. We're gonna go, I'm gonna show you what, what's 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 our problem here. Let's go to Colossians 3. One through T. We're gonna tell Paul telling us all. To be a good witness. Wow. To be a witness. Wow. What y'all say? Come on. Yeah, so so the enemy, that's his that's his motive and his job to keep us mm -hmm. from not speaking it out. Mm -hmm. So we can get delivered. If we so we can get delivered. Right. See, we don't want to. If you, God know you got the problem, right. but He waited you to speak it out. Amen. Mm -hmm. Trust Him. He trust Him with it enough to tell Him, I got a problem here. Amen. Right. Amen. I, need you. Right. Yeah. I need you to deliver me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I need you to help me. Mm -hmm. If something, mm -hmm. if something hurting you, tell mm -hmm. God this thing hurting me. Mm -hmm. See, we won't tell him, so he can't, he ain't going to come against your will. Mm -hmm. But he knows that. Mm -hmm. And just like telling mama, when you do, mama, like your child do something, and, and, and they, they run to mama, my brother hit me. Mm -hmm. So he doesn't let the wait off of him. Mm -hmm. That's what we should do with God. Tell him. Mm -hmm. If you mad, God, I'm mad. Mm -hmm. So he can what? Take the angry out of you. Mm -hmm. And that patience. Have a work. work. Mm -hmm. Amen. Okay, we all gonna show you the word. Let, let, let's see before we get to these witnesses. All right, look what it said. If ye then be risen with Christ, seek those things which are above, where Christ sitteth on the right hand of God. That's the only way it can be him. You got to seek oh, him. him. Yeah. That's why he says, seek those things up above. above. No make it sick? Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. All right, come on, let's see. Mm -hmm. Then he tell them what? Let your Affection. No. Man. no. Oh, set. Let's, where your glasses at? Set. <laughs> set your affection on things above, not on things on the earth. Okay. He says, set your affection what? Um, on things above. But we, I think it down here. <laughs> so if it died here, that's a. Wait, wait, wait. That's an obstacle. <laughs> <laughs> Is you get it? Yes, ma'am. I was thinking. I was thinking. All right, now come yes, on, now see that's a way. Mm -hmm. Lord help her. for ye, <laughs> for ye are dead, and your life is hid with Christ in God. See, look at that. For ye are dead. You dead. Mm -hmm. Jesus died 
for your sin. Now, sin is dead through Jesus. Mm -hmm. But you still sin nature. Because you haven't fully had the transfer. Mm -hmm. Transformation and your life. See, you got to realize where your life span at. Mm -hmm. Your life is hidden in Christ Jesus. So, if Jesus is in full, when I talk about Sunday, if he is in full in con control, mm -hmm. you ain't quick to sit down. Right. <laughs> right. Thank you. That's funny. A scripture or something going to catch you before you say something that ain't supposed to say. Hmm. So we're not letting him fully take control of our ways. Hmm. Hmm. Amen. All right, look what he said. When Christ, who is our life, shall appear, then shall ye also appear with him in glory. So look what my identity look like. I suppose we looking like him. <laughs> him. Jesus was just like his father. father. So we supposed to be just like Jesus. So when he appeared, Let you think it deep, ain't you? Yeah. Yeah. Now, look what you're going to tell us what we need to do. Yeah. Paul telling us. Verse 5, let's Mortify. Lord Jesus, help me, Lord. Mortify, therefore, your members which are upon the earth. What? Up on the what? Up on the earth. earth. Uh, so we need yeah. to mortify this up on the earth. Amen. That's a way. Okay, the way he said. Mortify what? Fornication. Uncleanness, inordinate affection, evil conscriptionness, and covetousness, which is adultery. So it's what? Adultery. These are the things of the world. world. All right, come on then. Can you? For which things sake the wrath of God cometh on the children of disobedience. So he had to what? Just the mm -hmm. That's just like Ma Michelle chest eye prissy. Mm -hmm. When you disobey. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. All right, come on. Let's get on the phone here. Hope I'm making sense. Mm -hmm. Amen. All right. In the which ye also walked sometime. When you lived in them. Okay. You walked in them when you lived in them. You acted like the world. You you took things on as the world. Right. Mm -hmm. When you lived in them. Right. Now when you come Christ-like, mm -hmm. you acting like Jesus. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> but now ye also put off all these. Anger, <laughs> all right. Wrath, mm -hmm. malice. Oh, blasphemy, filthy communication out of your mouth. So you need to clean your mouth with mouthwash, mm -hmm. which is the word of God. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 Mm -hmm. Bill and sweet can't come out the same mouth. Amen. Okay, man. The way he tell us, lie not one to another, seeing that ye have put off the old man with his deeds. So hey, I'm still walking in the old man. So I'm still walking in some with my flesh. Mm -hmm. That's the old man. Mm -hmm. So you you got to know where you what which we do know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But when we get caught up in self, mm -hmm. we let the old man come. That's right. Amen. 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 Thank God for Jesus. He covered all our sin from the beginning until the end. But I'm just saying we need witnesses. Amen. Because there's going to come a time that the saints of God got to get in the position. God ready to bring his people in. Mm -hmm. Now, I ain't going to come in if you cussing more than me. Right. Mm -hmm. right. You see what I'm saying? Amen. Amen. Verse 10. And have put on 
the new man. So I'll put on the new man. New man. Which is renewed in knowledge after the image of him that created him. So I come into what? The knowledge of him. Mm -hmm. So my image now is like him. him. Mm -hmm. So I'm beginning to be a good witness. Mm -hmm. Y'all ain't born this. Oh, no. Mm -hmm. Listen. I'm thinking. Listen. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, let's go to. Second Corinth, uh, First Corinthians, nine. Thank God for me being a witness. I'm, che I'm checking myself too. Mm -hmm. Jesus, I wait. I'm gonna do things in life. Mm -hmm. So He gave me time to work on serving. Mm -hmm. mm Start at verse 20 to 24. And unto the Jews, I became as a Jew. Then we were talking about we witnesses. Mm -hmm. Okay, Paul is saying what he was around, he became like. Mm -hmm. He was a witness. Mm -hmm. And see, some say, <laughs> being a witness, I'm around a person that do a whole lot of cussing, mm -hmm. but that don't mean I'm cussing. Amen. Amen. Right, right. That's true. See, you can't separate yourself from the world. Mm -hmm. You are you in the world, he said, but you're not of mm -hmm. the world. Mm -hmm. So I can't act like them, mm -hmm. but I can be a light among them. Mm -hmm. Okay, let, let's see what see what Paul tells. Now this is how Paul will tell us how we all act. Mm -hmm. Twenty. Okay. <laughs> you bring your glasses. Okay. And unto the Jews, I became as a Jew. So he said, unto the Jews, I became as a Jew. He was among them, mm -hmm. and with Paul was a Jew. Mm -hmm. But he, he's among, I'm acting like my folks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. That I might gain the Jews. That I may gain the Jews. So he was on the, what Jews was on the law. All right. To mm -hmm. them that are under the law, as under the law, mm -hmm. that I may gain them that are under the law. So what he did, he taught them under the law what they understood. The <laughs> Jews understand the law, and law kept you in bondage because they couldn't keep the law. Mm -hmm. It was sin, mm -hmm. and so how can I say? You don't put something on somebody else that you can't do yourself. <laughs> you don't put me on the uh, pressure, and you 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 can't stand the pressure. Amen. See, this is what Paul said. But I'm with them. I'm, I'm among them, but I ain't gonna act like them. Mm -hmm. So I'm my, I'm around them, but I'm not. By by the laws. I know I was raised up in the law, but I'm not buying by the law. Mm -hmm. So he knew how to base and to bind among different people. Mm -hmm. And you being a witness, you need to know how to base and bind around people. Amen. And Amen. saints don't know how, don't know how to base and bind That's around people. We forget. We walk right by him, don't we speak? Amen. Amen. We don't even show us now. Uh -uh. <laughs> Ouch. All right. So Paul telling us how we all act. Mm -hmm. Okay, the way he said. To them that are without law, as without law, being not without law to God, but under the law to Christ. So they was under the law of Christ, and they free. Mm -hmm. You're not under the law. You know you can't keep the Ten Commandments. Mm -hmm. But Jesus came to fulfill the law, so I'm on the grace. Mm -hmm. So Jesus done said, cover me. Mm -hmm. Amen. To be a good witness. So if, how can I put that? If a witness, 
see me out there cussing, uh -huh. all right, and he cussing, mm -hmm. I should send that to him. Mm -hmm. Tell him, brother, I'm a work in progress. Yeah. I'm under grace. Yeah. So I can't condemn you. And you can't condemn me. Amen. We all under grace, instruction under Jesus Christ. Amen. That's a good witness. witness. Mm -hmm. That show they will respect you more that way than you would mm -hmm. trying to tell somebody what? get their head out the cookie jar and your and not mm -hmm. caught you in there. Amen. 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 Yeah. Amen. Okay. How they say the pot can't call the kettle black. That's right. <laughs> I'm going to tell you that you buy coke and man, man, I got three on the side. <laughs> <laughs> and look. That I may gain them that are without law. Mm -hmm. So he, he said, I can gain them. So he did what? Prejudge them. Yeah. That's what Paul did not prejudge. Whatever state God put him in, whoever he witnessed to, he didn't prejudge it. He didn't prejudge the Jews. He didn't prejudge the Gentiles. Mm -hmm. hmm. See, that's why Jesus said, let your light shine that man mm -hmm. may see. Mm -hmm. You never saw Jesus judge no man. Mm -hmm. When they called the woman to act of adultery, they were trying to catch Jesus. Mm -hmm. They told Jesus she was caught. Mm -hmm. What shall we do? Mm -hmm. She both got stoned. Jesus said, mm -hmm. he didn't, he wouldn't fall in that category of the law. Amen. So he reminded them that he that without sin cast the first stone. Because they couldn't keep they the law neither. Right. Because some of probably them been with them. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They probably mm -hmm. See, them first. See, people tell you something that they Amen. can't keep. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. So be a good witness. Mm -hmm. All right, come on, verse 22. To the weak became I as weak. So he became weak with those he was around. So he never changed who he was. He knew who he was. Mm -hmm. But when he was around those that weak, he treated them just like he was weak. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Again, then. Yeah. See, y'all are going I use you as example on your job. You, you said that the this, don't you? Right? Okay, when they come up there, you are already spot some of them know what they are. So you have to change your heart, say your continent away how they are. Some come up real, real friendly. You just talk yeah. and smile. Then some come up being serious. So you be serious with them. How you react. Mm -hmm. All right. That I may gain the weak. So he what? He gained the weak. Mm -hmm. I am made all things. He had made all, men. all things to all men. Mm -hmm. See, we don't watch how we who, who we around. Mm -hmm. He said, when I'm on the rich, I act the rich. Mm -hmm. When I'm on the poor, I, I am the poor. So my my characteristics of my life was still be in a place where people can feel free to come and talk to me. Amen. Amen. The Bible says, show yourself friendly so you can gain a friend. Amen. But if you don't show yourself friendly, Amen. you ain't gaining nobody. That's true. That's true. The saints of God got the <laughs> Yes, ma'am. Even me with your household. Amen. I'm sorry. Because the Bible says, I sanctify wife, sanctify the husband. Amen. Oh. Sanctify the husband. Sanctify the wife. We need a little more words in that area. <laughs> <laughs> See, see, I'm to you, I am made all things to all men that I may by all means say some. Amen. 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 Am
Amen. See, you saving some people. Mm -hmm. Just me going around picking up kings. Saving people. Amen. I got to tell the witness. Amen. See? Amen. Whatever it takes. Amen. All right, come on. And this I do for the gospel's sake. So you're doing it for what? For the gospel's sake. That's what you're doing it for. You're doing it for the gospel's sake. You're doing it for Jesus Christ. Jesus said he got sheep of his fold that he got to bring in. So if I don't be a good witness, I can't bring them in. True. So can I get somebody to tell me a little bit about that? What you think? Feed me, 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 Moses. Mm -hmm. So, I would say if I'm going around someone or a, a, or a body of people and I have a stuck up, arrogant, nasty, dispositional attitude, then I can't win them representing Christ. Mm -hmm. So I have to succumb, I have to... Mm -hmm. I have to be as Christ to win them. I have to show them the love of Christ or the mercy of Christ or the grace of Christ to for them to be able to see Christ in my life. Right. Because mm -hmm. they're not looking at you, they're looking at the Christ in, in you. you. Mm -hmm. It's for the gospel's sake. Mm -hmm. Amen. Wow. So it's very important when you go out and how you represent him. See, people don't realize you represent Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. When Jesus came to the earth, he represented the Father. Amen. He said, not I that does the work, it's the Father that does the work. Yeah. So what he's trying to get us to do is to let the flesh of the world come out of us mm -hmm. so he can come in us and do what he need to do. Because you ain't going to draw nobody with a second attitude. Amen. Like, even if I'm at work, guys say I'm showing my teeth, I'm always smiling, but that's just my, even if I'm mad, sometimes I smile, you mm -hmm. know, I smile, but, um, this man, and I didn't remember him this morning, but he said when I came around the corner, I looked like I was going to murder somebody <laughs> this morning, but I just, but I don't have no expression, people think that I'm mad, mm -hmm. but I had my headphones, and I came down, and when he came out, and I still didn't remember him. And he was, and he said something, and I started smiling. He told me, "That's my girl right there." Like I didn't know who that was this morning, but I'm glad that you're here now. And people, people watching, even when you don't think that they're watching, yeah. yeah. And see, that's the part that really encouraged somebody to uh, got um, when they don't feel like they have something to hope for, if they can see you smiling. Mm -hmm. That bring hope. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's how I sometimes when I feel like I'm kind of down and I get with kids, mm -hmm. something about a child brings life to me. Mm -hmm. See, and it brings strength to me. Mm -hmm. And see, that's you just, you be amazed at how people be looking for that. Mm -hmm. And that spreading the gospel. Mm -hmm. right. that, that sort of reminds me when people seem like about me, I don't think I'm funny. Mm -hmm. but, <laughs> you are <laughs> but people think I'm funny. I mean, you know what I'm saying? They said, ooh, like this one lady, we went out to dinner Friday night, me and my cousin down on the plaza to uh, Capitol Grill. And, and this lady that waited on us, you know, she was a, of another color. But she, girl, she had a swag on her that wouldn't wait. She was just... You know, so I would walk, I went behind and I would walk. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and so when we got to the table, she set us down and everything. I said, come in, baby. Come down here with me. I said, you know what? I said, girl, you had it working. I said, you got a swag on you that won't. I said, you want me to show you how you were swagging? So I got up. It was crowded with people. And I walked down a little aisle like this. And she just... <laughs> She said, oh, she just laughed, and then the people were laughing. They say, oh, you just made money. And she said, girl, you just made. And I figured, like, okay. What, what so what you did. I don't see us. It ain't for you to see. Oh. 
It's, it's for you to do and form what God puts on your heart to do. Because he takes whatever to, to glorify him. Mm-hmm. And see, you got to uh, anointed to bring joy, mm-hmm. bring bring out the laughter in people. You think they laughing at you, but that's the joy of the Lord bringing that, bringing pressure off of people. Amen. Amen. When you stop, when you stop, what's so funny? Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, what's so funny? <laughs> then God can show you more of. He can manifest himself more in you and give you more clarity and understanding of the gift Amen. that he had placed in you to bring joy to people. Because you look at me. A lot of way I preach, a lot of people don't preach like I preach. Amen. But a lot of people get joy out of it and get more clarity and understanding. Amen. 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 So God used you according to the purpose that he has placed in you that he brings out to what say his content, his mm-hmm. content. I ain't say yo, right. his content out of you that he had yeah. purpose in you. Mm-hmm. See, like Matt, if you take my smile, then you got me. Mm-hmm. And see, the enemy, if he could give me start smiling, mm-hmm. see, then he could put that's my that's what God gave me mm-hmm. to show him. Mm-hmm. And see, and like he smiled, that's and when the man said, Where where my lean at? Mm-hmm. Where my girl at? Mm-hmm. See, that's what God used for him to see him. Mm-hmm. It ain't looking at you, he's looking at him. Mm-hmm. So you witness it. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay, so why I get okay. There it's called you still so in I your get flesh. Frustrated. You get flesh. 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 <laughs> flesh. <laughs> flesh. <laughs> Flesh. That's what it is. We still in our flesh. Yeah. Because I be ready. When you finally come out the flesh and show them, get in the spirit and let God use you in the spirit. You are not a flesh to be. You are a spirit to be. Until we get this in here. We would never be as powerful and forceful as God wants us to be. Because you got to get in a place where you be so spiritual because the world don't understand what God doing. Because he said, I'm going to take the foolish thing to confine the wise. Just like they talk about TGA. Mm-hmm. Now, mm-hmm. but this is what God done carried him into this realm mm-hmm. to bring forth those people in the second world. They be saved in truth. Amen. 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 See, if, I don't, if, I'm not, if I'm foolish in the flesh, yeah, yeah, I'm backsliding. But that's what God is carrying him. Yes, it don't make any sense. Amen. So that's how he witnessed it. Mm-hmm. Y'all getting the witness in that way? I understand what you're saying. Like, we need to be in that char- character to witness to others. Be, I don't know if everybody else, but I'm just around people all the time that's going through something I went through or I'm still going through. Like, I just cannot get away from it. Mm-hmm. And I know that I have to get in my right place mm-hmm. because I'm supposed to be witnessing mm-hmm. to them some kind of way. Yeah. But I don't know. If I'm fully doing it, or you know, if you, if a person starts talking about, see, some people don't want to talk about their lives, mm-hmm. and see, if that cause people feel like they there's no hope. Mm-hmm. See, sometimes God will tell you, tell somebody about it, you got a problem, That's right. mm-hmm. and they'll see how you how you react to it. Mm-hmm. And now, if you act towards it. And come in there and say, oh, now she acting like she acting. Well, mm-hmm. I can make this. Mm-hmm. But see, people don't want to tell nothing on yeah, themselves. They don't want to tell nothing. They don't want to tell nothing. And see, and that's why a lot of people cannot get free. Mm-hmm. And they thinking you all sanctified and, mm-hmm. and holy and molded. Mm-hmm. And they sitting up dying. And you you dying, but you behind the door dying. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Amen. But they... You know, you bring them out by your lifestyle. You know mm-hmm. what you live. Amen. Mm-hmm. Thank okay. you, Jesus. And this I do for the gospel's sake, that I might be partaker thereof with you. See, so he what? Being a partaker. So he bringing them. If I'm a partaker of something, then I'm bringing somebody out. Okay, just like I went to that... Uh, 
the guy invited me down there when they had that little dinner down there. I didn't go to stay, mm -hmm. but I went to be a partaker of it. Mm -hmm. I went to it mm -hmm. and got what I said, but I didn't stay, but I, did, I came in. See, sometimes people won't even, they won't go in, they won't touch, they won't sit down, they won't That's do right. nothing. Um, I was talking to somebody, I, I believe it was the day of yesterday, and I was saying how that uh, sometimes God places anointing on people to do unnormal things like go into a, a drug house or go into a, a bar, even though they're Christian, mm -hmm. but God will anoint them to mm -hmm. to go in there to pull whoever that is yeah. person. He's mm -hmm. yeah, mm -hmm. and yeah. some people would frown on that, and they mm -hmm. you know they they might say, well, you know, hey, they going out to the club or whatever. But I sometimes I feel like God anoint a person mm -hmm. because there's somebody in there that He's trying to draw out of mm -hmm. that lifestyle, mm -hmm. right? So that's what I'm saying. Whatever he takes to use, he just need a willing vessel to do it. Mm -hmm. And he would get glory out of it. Mm -hmm. It's not you to please man, it's to please him. Yeah. Amen. Because I'll be walking, <laughs> what we call them, we talk about Sunday when I had them can. I went down there and got them can. And I come up through that water all the time. He told me, if you didn't know nobody, they think you done drunk all that beer. <laughs> <laughs> and I said, hey, go, Jesus. Hey, you know what I'm saying? And that one said, like, she just, you know. <laughs> so I'm saying, whatever it take me to get, they know who I am. So they so busy giving me, and I'm taking them just like, so it hey, don't bother me if I am a pastor told kids, you know. I have on beer cans, I do solar pop cans. Amen. So I'm saying it whatever it takes to get the gospel started. Amen. Amen. Okay, verse 24. Know ye not that they which run in a race run all, but one receiveth the prize. So run that ye may obtain. See what he's saying? Mm -hmm. No, you're not that they, they would run in a race. So he got a race. So your a race that you run is make people laugh. Mm -hmm. He said, run it all. Mm -hmm. Run it out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Go through it. Wow. But one receives the prize. So you're going to receive what? Okay. The prize. Eternal life. Mm -hmm. So run it. The Z said, so mm -hmm. run it, mm -hmm. <laughs> that ye may attain. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you got to set, God got to set for you to do certain things, mm -hmm. to be a witness. Mm -hmm. so, so attain it. Mm -hmm. You got to attain that. That's just like, that's a hymn left. Mm -hmm. When I hand it to you, mm -hmm. You attain that. You don't let nobody, you don't let the end of coming. Mm -hmm. Hold tight, girl. Amen. Mm -hmm. See, bugs? Him. <laughs> yeah, take it. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Jesus. You mean even like when, um, like, you probably come condition. Okay. And thus says the Lord Sunday. That don't mean it's going to happen Monday. We got to hold on to that word. Until it comes past, mm -hmm. our time God's time. Right? That's right. You attain it. Mm -hmm. Don't let go of it. Mm -hmm. Whatever God told you or said to you, you attain it. Mm -hmm. Hold on to it till he bring it to pass. Mm -hmm. Just like I told her she couldn't go back to work. Mm -hmm. She attained that. So yeah, when yeah. the time comes, mm -hmm. because right. of the time and the season, he said run it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She had to run 